everyone, it's OT Megan here and welcome to AT Friday's Easter Week edition. And today we're going to be in my kitchen um, looking at a microwave toasty maker. Here goes. Okay, so here we have the microwave toasty maker. Not sure if it's going to be a useful piece of AT or a little bit of a gimmick, but we'll have a go. So it says that it's to be used in microwave ovens only. You open it via these tabs at the side, which is uh, silicon. The whole outer part is silicon. It's got the two griddle sort of plates inside it. Okay, so for my first attempt, I'm just doing a basic cheese sandwich. Um, it says to spread butter or margarine on the outside of the bread for extra golden results. So I have done so. And then place the sandwich to the toasty maker. Place the lid on, clamp both ends over, and then we have our microwave set between 700 and 1000 watts and we cook it for between 2 to 5 minutes according to the taste or fillings. So I'm going to play around with this and I'll be back in a second. Okie doke, I've just got it out of the microwave, <coughs> excuse me, and I've used a tea towel here because there's a lot of steam coming out and I'm not going to get as much fine motor control using a an oven mitt and let's see how we go we're going to test out oh better than i thought um without burning myself yeah oh, cheese is melted so there's our finished little toasty okay so i have taste tested and it tastes like a toasty um we bought this thinking that the silicon outer would mean that, you know, you're more protected from heat and burns um, as opposed to using an electric uh, sandwich press or jaffle maker. Uh, hmm, I'm not convinced. I think, um, I think you could do just as well using uh, one of the electric hot sandwich presses. Um, however, if you didn't have one of those and you just wanted this sort of thing to use in a microwave only, then maybe it's for you. It would be easier to clean than one of the jaffle makers, but no easier to clean than a sandwich press with the flat plates. So today's AT Friday, I guess, demonstrates that uh, we are not biased and we don't always recommend the products that we've road tested. However, uh, there might be um, some people who would really like this, so it might be something to keep in mind. Okay, thanks for watching AT Fridays and have a happy and safe Easter.